before we do anything else, I would just like to really quickly point out this game doesn't have a settings option on the main menu. I mean, I I don't is it is it in the shop? Do do I have to buy the the settings option DLC bonus pack before it's available? No, I guess not. Oh man, I can tell that I'm really going to enjoy myself with this one. The year is who gives a shit, and humans have finally left their home planet to do what we once thought was impossible. Colonize Mars. It turns out that colonizing Mars really wasn't actually all that hard, though, and they've now become an independent militaristic superpower hellbent on conquering Earth on the belief that their newfound Martian society is far superior to the dirty Earth dwellers, giving them justification for their conquest. Wait a second. <gasps> hey, wait a second! This is just Al Noah Zero! Yeah, almost like exactly Al Noah Zero, actually. I mean, not as many mechs, mind you, but you get the point. Listen, Infinity Ward, you know what? I'll give you a pass so long as this isn't complete and utter dog shit like Al Noah Zero was, okay? Okay, let's begin. All right, that doesn't matter though. This is Call of Duty. People who are different from me are bad. Let's go kill them all. Infinite Warfare, baby, here we go! Our first mission is to infiltrate a Martian R&D lab and locate an alleged super weapon. This place is crawling with security, so it's paramount that we manage to find this thing without being detected. Being compromised could very well cost us all our lives. All right, go get him, spider grenade! <laughs> Look at that thing go! Oh man, that's already my favorite weapon in this whole thing. I. Oh yeah, stealth. Fuck. Oh my god, guys! It's the super secret weapon! It's a good thing this control panel didn't have any sort of security systems behind it, or else this may not have been so easy. <gasps> Ooh! I don't know what the hell this thing is, but if I've learned anything from this game series, it's that if you get a hold of any sort of minigun-esque weapon, you're about to fuck some people up. All right, boys, it's time to blow this thing and go home. Everyone behind me, they're gonna have to get through my laser cannon if they wanna... I thought I would like this weapon a lot more. Do you seriously think a robot can beat my laser cannon? Ha! I don't think so, Infinite Warfare! Man, shout out to this robot, by the way. If he was shooting anything aside from, like, BB pellets, I would for sure be super dead right now. So, thanks, Infinite Warfare. Appreciate it. Escort the payload! Oh, holy shit. I don't think my laser cannon is going to be able to kill three of those things. Uh, listen, I know that this is a highly unstable death ray that could collapse at any moment, but we're in a bit of a pickle, so here goes nothing! Maybe I should have just tried my laser cannon instead. It's okay, guys. You see? We're all right. We managed to get out of there in one piece. Mission is a success. Let's regroup and start heading home. Rude! Oh, no. It's the leader of Mars himself, Jon Snow! You care about your men? Yeah. They're pretty good guys. I, I'm a fan, so if you could just like let us go. I, oh no, please don't do that. Um, I'm sorry that we can't. Oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Oh my god, Infinity Ward! What the hell are you doing? This guy's edgy as shit. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I... I wasn't ready for that. Oh no, 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 Jon Snow, please. I, I, I take it back, you're not edgy, you're not edgy. Please don't, oh god, oh no. No! Asshole. Stick the flag in, stick, stick it up your ass. Asshole. What is Raya? Oh. Unclear. It was... It was all just a video. Cool, dude. 
This is actually us, Lieutenant Reyes, a young up-and-coming savior of the planet Earth. We're joined by our longtime female friend, Lieutenant Salter, who I 100% guarantee for a fact we will have sex with at some point in this game. I mean, not that you would even really want to, to be honest, though. I mean... E. Thanks for ever perpetuating the meme of Western devs not being able to design cute girls for shit, Infinity Ward. Way to go. Just look at how hard she's trying not to make eye contact with me. Welcome to Fleet Week, everybody! A celebration of our world's collective Air Force power. Or does the Air Force even exist anymore? Wouldn't it just be the Space Force at this point? And I don't know. We just happy Fleet Week! Whoa, what a beautiful city! Place your bets on how long it takes for a surprise Martian attack to ruin everything. Oh shit, son! We got a fucking robot butler in this game? Oh my god, you know what? This is it right here, folks. This is it. This is the best Call of Duty to date. Forget everything you knew. This is it. This is the one right here. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Hey, so remember how I told you to place your bets on how long it'll take for everything to go to shit? Well, if you guessed literally a minute and a half, then congratulations! You too can see through predictable, shitty storytelling. Good job. So we're all pretty much fucked beyond belief at this point, having our own super high-tech railguns turn against us and laying waste to our entire global fleet. It's our job to fight through the streets of Versailles, reach the central control tower, and shut these weapons down before the entire planet is completely defenseless. I really wish I had more to commentate about here, but it's Call of Duty. We're just kinda shooting dudes. Um, I did get a Plasma AK-47 or something like that, though, so... I mean, that's pretty cool. Do you guys hear that sound? I don't know what that is, but I can already tell that it's really bad news. OH SHIT! SUPER BATTLE DROIDS! TAKE THEM DOWN! WATCH OUT! THEY'VE SENT IN THE SUPERS! CAREFUL SOLDIERS! WATCH THOSE WRIST ROCKETS! Yo, hold on, did that battle droid just disappear? Hang on, re replay that. Am, am I going crazy? Go back. Uh, yeah, he did. He totally fucking did. Man, war has changed. Man, I'm telling you right now, this could have just been the whole game right here and I would have been satisfied. These little spider grenade things are the cutest things ever. I love it. I would be totally on board with just 15 straight hours of this and nothing else. All right, so we get the tower under control. Earth lives to fight another day. And now we start to put the infinite in infinite warfare, baby. Because we're taking this fight into the motherfucking reaches of space. Here we go! I'd just like to stop and take a moment to reflect really quickly. This game used to be about World War II. Just... I don't know, it just kind of makes you think. Ah, hell yeah, man, this is totally gnarly, dude. Look at this, I'm all like, pew, 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 and they're like, oh man, this is so cool. If any of this looks at all impressive or fun, by the way, uh, literally all I'm doing is holding down the right mouse button to lock on and left clicking to shoot, and then the game just kind of fills in the rest for you, but, uh... Yeah, space! That's what I've always wanted in Call of Duty! Yeah! Ah, yeah. Fuck that thing up. That's what I like to see, team. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, Jon Snow. I sunk your battleship. Hmm. It's quiet. A little bit too quiet, if you ask me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh shit, it's Jon Snow's super battleship! Oh no, uh, listen, Jon, I'm, I'm sorry about sinking your battleship and all that. It, it was all just one big prank, bro. You don't gotta be like this. You don't gotta, you don't gotta kill us all. I'm sorry, Jon Snow. Ha! Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's right, Jon. You better run, you, you punk ass bitch. I mean, you may have literally destroyed all but one of our world's combat-ready battleships, thus bringing our global military might down to virtually zero, but, uh... Yeah, you, you better run! So we all somehow managed to survive and regroup at, again, to stress the severity of the situation, literally the last battleship our entire global fucking military has at its disposal, and it turns out that the captain got his dumbass killed during the attack, thus promoting the next highest ranking officer on board to the position of captain. And wouldn't you know it, that's us. 
I mean, it could also be Salter because we're the exact same rank. The game never once explains why exactly it defaults to me instead of her, but, uh... Yeah! The stage is set! We're the last line of defense for Earth! Let's go kill some Martians! First things first, we kind of need a fleet of ships if we're going to fight a war, but Jon Snow just came in and fucked up everything we got, so that means it's time to rebuild. Unfortunately, all of the necessary resources for such an endeavor are currently on a cargo port on the moon, which is overrun by Martians, so it's up to us to head out into the field and secure that station. Now, if you don't know that much about warfare, then allow me to give you just a quick little teaching session, if you don't mind. Okay, so your commanding officer is like super crucial, and it's like crazy important that no matter what happens, he stays out of harm's way. So in this situation, sending out the only captain of your only battleship in your entire military on an insanely dangerous mission like this one, it's, it's kind of ill-advised, to say the least. Just, just a little bit. You know, I... I gotta say it, if there's one thing that this series does do right, the shooting galleries that you find yourself fighting in are admittedly pretty as hell, so A plus for your presentation, Infinity Ward, well done. Unfortunately, that's kind of like all you have going for you at the moment, so, I mean, you still get an F, but, uh... Good job on this one aspect. At, at least you got one. So, uh, basically, we shoot some guys, we shoot some robots, we shoot a lot of robots, actually. Shoot some more guys, fight a couple of Bionicles, then we do some of the same old dogfighting as we were doing before. Then we have to take out an enemy battleship on foot out of nowhere. This isn't how gravity works, by the way. Every one of these shots will be propelling us backward, but, you know, we go inside, shoot some more dudes, shoot some some more robots, blow up the ship, and mission success. I, I think I'm starting to remember why I don't like the newer Call of Duties that much. Uh, okay, so next mission. I'm, I'm sure this one's gonna be better. All right, so there's an enemy ship that's resupplying and holding a super strong prototype fighter jet, so we're gonna go get it. That sounds like fun. Okay, let's do this. Uh, oh. It's just a stealth mission with basically zero tension to it. Oh. It's just another firefight with nonsensical physics. Oh. It's just another boring ass dogfight. Um. Well, audience, I think that we've seen just about everything there is to see here, and I would be lying if I said that I wasn't bored as a fucking stump, so... That was Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, everybody! I hope you enjoyed it more than I did. Now, I think there's just one last thing left for us to do. Hey everybody, this is Ouija the God. Welcome to Ouija's Tutorial Corner, the best tutorial show ever. Today we're gonna be doing a, a refunding shitty Steam game tutorial. Okay, so first click the top right wallet in the corner, uh, then click view purchase history right there, and now just uh, click click on the thing you want to return. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with probably accident here because that's what this game was, and I'd like a refund. Okay, let's here we are. Uh, now all you gotta do is just ask ask real kind for your money back, and while you're at it, remind them to subscribe to youtube.com slash Ouija Plays. So, okay, then you click Submit Request, and in just a matter of hours, boom! There you go! Money back guarantee! So now, you've got your YouTube video, you got your money back, and everyone's happy! Okay, that, thanks for tuning in to Ouija's Tutorial Corner! Uh, that was a lot of fun, I'll see you guys next year for Call of Duty 37! Goodbye! you <laughs>